SSC is ready to roll. SSC with Martrex rolling, clear to the sonic. Since 1898, people have had a quest to push the boundaries of speed. Creating new designs, new engines and using better technology to go faster and faster. Tweaking here and tuning there to push their vehicles beyond all limitations. In 2013, the Bloodhound Project will further push these boundaries to break the limit of 1,000 miles per hour. Three, two, one. This translates to an astonishing 1,609 kilometers per hour and is exactly 1.4 times the speed of sound. In 1997, Andy Green became the only person to go faster than the speed of sound on land in the Thrust SSC. In 2013, he will do it all over again in the Bloodhound. Not just any person can do this. Andy Green will be experiencing plus 3 Gs when accelerating and will slow down at 90 km per hour every second, the equivalent of a crash. The Bloodhound team's head of education explains the workings of the car. There are three power plants in a Bloodhound supersonic car. The first is a jet engine, high performance, lightweight. It's out of the Eurofighter Typhoon. It develops about 90 kilonewtons of thrust. However, we've also got a hybrid rocket car, uh, a rocket, sorry, that will develop 120 kilonewtons. And we also have a third motor, which is the Cosworth Formula One. We need to move about 1,000 kilograms of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, into the rocket in about 20 seconds. Today at the Prince George Circuit in East London, I'm here to speak to some racers to see if they think they have what it takes to push themselves eight times the speed they normally would go during a race. 1,600 kilometers per hour is crazy fast. Um, I'd like to think I'd be able to. Probably not, no. I don't think I could do that. 240 is fast enough for me. Growing up loving speed, I'd accept the challenge. However, Dave Rowley is skeptical. I don't think anybody, maybe not even Jensen Button or uh, uh, any of the other Formula One drivers could just jump into the car. I'm sure they'd like to have a go, but they'll have to fight Andy Green to, uh, to get into the car. This record will be attempted at the only possible place in the world, South Africa's Huxky and Pan. Even if Andy Green and his team can't break the record, they will have achieved their number one goal of getting young people excited about maths and science. I'm Taryn Ross, RUTV, Ramsdown.